Hello and welcome to jdrivingschool.com. My name is Jai Shri Soumani. Now we are going to see this type of traffic light. This has got also four lights, but it is different compared to this one. Here you get red arrow on the top, then orange light or green light and green arrow pointing towards right. Here you get red arrow on the top, then red light or orange light or green light. So in this traffic light, we get different, different combinations. So we are going to see now that combination. So first combination is red arrow with red light or red arrow with green light or just green light or orange light. So these are the combination we get it. So you get only one of these lights at a time. So we will talk about this one first. When you have red light and red arrow pointing towards right, you are coming from the, this direction, come and stop behind the stop line. After a while, you will get this combination where you have green light with red arrow pointing towards right. So when you have green light and red arrow pointing towards right, you can't turn right. And when you have green light and red arrow pointing towards right, the side street will have red light, but the oncoming cars will have green light and you will have green light. So you can go straight ahead from any of these two lanes or turn left after giving the pedestrian on your left side but you cannot turn right because that arrow is telling you you can't turn right. Then after a while, from this light, you will get this combination, green light. When you have just green light in this type of traffic light, the oncoming car still have green lights, but the side street will have red light, but you will hear, you will, the pedestrian will get walk light. So the green person will come up. So when you have green light, oncoming cars have green light. Remember that, but the side street has red light. So you, when you have green light, you can creep in the intersection. And then let these oncoming cars go straight ahead or anyone turning left, let them turn. If someone wants to turn right, they can turn when it is safe for them to do, but you have to give way to the cars coming from coming from opposite direction straight ahead or turning on their left. So after no cars coming from opposite direction and no pedestrian walking across here, you can turn with care. Sometimes there are no cars coming from opposite direction, but the pedestrian walking across you just enter the intersection at green light and sit here until they get out of your way. And then you can turn. Suppose there's a pedestrian walking across this way and there is no pedestrian walking from here. <clears throat> when this person comes in the middle and there's a room behind him, you can easily turn. You don't have to wait till he gets on this side. As long as he's out of your way, then with care you can turn. And if the lights are green and you have entered the intersection and sometimes the light turns orange and if there is no car coming from opposite direction and no pedestrian walking across, you, will, you can turn quickly and carefully, turn around before it turns red. But make sure you, give, you look deep ahead well and take a safe gap in the oncoming traffic. If, if cars are coming and if you can't turn, stay, stop behind the uh, stop line only, and then you will get, then it will turn red. So when you have this kind of traffic light with four lights and you get a green light, it is similar to this traffic light with three lights in it, but green light. So you have to follow the same procedure what you follow in this traffic light, which I have explained in my earlier episode. 
Okay, when you have green light, you can creep in the intersection like that, but stay behind the center point of this intersection. And if cars are coming and the light turns orange, and if they are stopping, then you can turn. But if they don't stop, sometimes the cars are a little bit further back from the traffic light. But, and when we get from green light to orange light, they also get the orange light. And sometimes that driver wants to go through that orange light before it turns red. So don't turn in front of them. So you have to see the oncoming car speed and how far it is. Uh, and from their speed, you can make out whether they are going to go through that orange light. So once, if you think they are going to, they are going to go through orange light because they are coming at faster speed, let them go. And then because you are in the intersection, as soon as it turns red, you, you can quickly and carefully turn around. So I would say when you have just green light and if you are a learner and if you are not confident enough to enter the intersection and turn at red light, then you better creep out when you have just green light a little bit only over the stop line, not in the pedestrian crossing area. So if there's a lot of traffic coming from opposite direction and you can't turn and if the light turns to red, even though they, you cannot fail the test because you are not blocking the pedestrian crossing area either. So this is how it depends upon the level of your experience, how confident you feel to get in the intersection and stop in the intersection and how confident you are when you get red light, you can quickly and carefully turn. So if you are a learner, don't creep in the intersection. That's what I would say. Just stop behind the stop line or you can slightly creep over the stop line at green light if it is red light at green light you can creep over the stop line but at red light and after that if it turns red if you have crept over the stop line you cannot fail but after it turns red and if you're coming and you stop a break hard and if you sleep uh, sleep over the stop line then it's a fail item. So you have to be careful. You approach slowly by expecting a good change when you're approaching green light and expect that the red, it can turn into orange and red light suddenly. So that's how you turn through this traffic light with four lights in it, with a red arrow on the top.